All right, good morning, Darcy's Nation. We are inshore today, inshore salt water. Woo! Monster fish, awesome. That is an awesome way to start the day. All right, beautiful fish, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get this hook out with a hook remover that we have, and we'll show you a trick. All right, look at that baby. Awesome fish. Are you ready? You see him kicking? Yeah. Hooked up, hooked up on actually my bass rod, my bass setup we brought today. And I am using a little jig head. We're trying different spots today. We are just exploring more. There's a really great seawall here and a lot of current moving. And so we're just pitching underneath these docks here. And I am attaching a piece of shrimp to that. So that way I can uh, just dig it, you know, around the structure. And I just got hit by this nice jack. Still can't seem to get away from the jack corvals today, but hey, we're catching fish. Calm down, calm down, dude. Okay, so you can see jig right in the corner of the mouth there. And we are just using jigs that are appropriate for the current that is gonna get down. So this jig in particular is a one fourth ounce jig and mustad jig and just working it along the seawall and anybody can do this. This is very simple. And depending on how much current you have, you know, you gotta either downgrade or upgrade on your weight on your jig. But that's a sweet jack, awesome. All right, I'm hooking up on some more fish over here. We're just moving locations, different spots, pitching where there's current, pitching where there's structure and walls like this. Um, so basically, using the jig, it's really a, a lot of fun with the family and the kids. And as you can see, I've got a small little baby mangrove snapper on here. I'm not even gonna touch him. I'm just gonna use my dehooker right here. And all you gotta do is just take your dehooker and put it in between the hook and just like that. And then you're just gonna flip. And he's off. And you don't even have to touch them because they have really sharp teeth and really sharp spines. So that's an easy way to remove them. And I'll link it down in the description below. I have an Amazon store now with all my favorite products that I love to use for fishing. 